It is not so important how you study during the early days of your preparation. But if your last few months or few weeks study plan is not effective, you won't get good marks. So your last moment study plan significantly improves your marks in NEET exam. In this video, I have explained the last 7 days strategy for NEET 2021. If you follow this strategy, you can able to revise entire NEET syllabus very easily. You can able to attend 5 full portion tests. You will solve more than 2000 MCQs and you can able to improve time management skills to a greater extent and all these can be completed in just 5 days and still you have extra 2 days. Even I follow this strategy and this strategy will be effective only if you have completed at least 80% of your syllabus and if you are already following our 30 days study plan just go with that. I am Ibrahim, Madras Medical College second year MBBS student. If you are watching my video for the first time, then consider subscribing and hit the bell icon for notification. Okay, then without wasting time, let's start. The core idea is you need to split entire subject syllabus into 5 parts. That is, 5 parts in physics, 5 parts in chemistry, 5 parts in botany and 5 parts in geology. Fine. The plan is to study one part in each subject per day. So totally you have 5 parts in each subject and you can complete this in 5 days. Now I will explain how to utilize these 5 days. Fine. On each day you need to wake up at 6 am. Ok. From 6 am to 9 am it's time for physics. First from 6 to 7 fastly revise all the formulas and important concepts. You can able to do that within an hour. Second from 7 to 9 solve MCQs. As I mentioned in my previous videos first solve previous year question. Then solve Ames and Jipmer questions. And while solving you will commit some mistakes. So write it down in a separate sheet of paper. From 6 to 9 follow these strategies and study physics. Don't study continuously for 3 hours. Take 10 minutes break in between for every 1 hour. Ok. From 9 to 10 break. Complete bathing and have a breakfast and chill. Next from 10 to 1 it's time for chemistry. Same like physics from 10 to 11 reverse your notes fastly. And from 11 to 1 solve MCQs. Same like physics first previous year question then Ames Jipmer questions. And write your blunders in a sheet of paper. Ok. Next from 1 to 2 lunch break and take rest. Next from 2 to 5 solve full portion question paper. Don't worry you can able to solve at least 80% of the question. For writing full portion days either you can use your question bank or NTI app or you can attend an academy mock test. An academy is conducting mock tests on 7th and 9th September which is an all India test and it is completely free for everyone. Interesting fact is that the timing is also same 2 to 5 pm and they are also providing all India rank list and they are also providing video solution for each and every problems. To join just download an academy app and enter or unlock code NEATMASTER to unlock this test for free. And they are also conducting free weekly scholarship test on every Sunday at 11 am. You can participate in this test and you can avail scholarship if you secure a top rank in that as mentioned here. To unlock scholarship test use our code NEATMASTER. If you are interested then download this app, app link in description and check it out. Once you have completed the test next from 5 to 5.30 tea break, chill. And next from 5.30 to 6.30 check your answers and rectify your mistakes that you have committed in full portion test. Next from 6.30 to 9.30 it's time to study biology. Let us split this 3 hours into 2 parts, 1 and a half hours for botany and 1 and a half hours for zoology. Ok from 6.30 to 7 before studying you need to solve MCQs first. The reason to solve MCQs is that you can able to differentiate stronger and weaker topics. Fine. Next from 7 to 8 first study the weaker part and then go with stronger part. Then follow the same strategy. From 8 to 8.30 solve MCQs then from 8.30 to 9.30 study weaker topics followed by stronger one. If you are a memo need app user then you can use memo need for revising all the NCRT lines very firstly. Then from 9.30 to 10 dinner break have a healthy food spend time with your family and chill. Then by 10 you sleep 10 to 6 8 hours sleep well. And if you feel like you can able to study till 11 or 12 then study those topic you feel difficult or you need to study again or go through your mistakes again. This is the way you need to spend 5 days. By the end of 5th day you have completed revising entire syllabus, you have completed 5 full percent tests and you must have solved around 
2000 plus mcqs on average by writing full portion tests with timer you can notice improvements in your time management skills okay next we can move to sixth and seventh day in these days i won't give the time table instead i will just list of the things you need to do and you can do that as per your convenience fine in sixth day for physics revise first three days chapters then i have asked you to note down your mistakes in a single sheet of paper right now you need to go through the topics next for chemistry revise physical and inorganic chapters next go through your mistake which you have committed before next for biology revise first three day chapters here first revise the weak topics and no need to worry about the stronger topics you won't forget it believe me then don't forget to revise diagrams examples tabular columns summary and supplementary part this is for day 6 next day 7 for physics study fourth and fifth day chapters and if you have left some chapters on sixth day revise it for chemistry study organic lessons and pending lessons for biology study fourth and fifth day chapters and follow the same strategy that you have followed for the sixth day this is for day 7 and i request you to sleep early on the last day never do overnight studying it kills your performance next on the exam day revise biology then few hours before the exam just fastly go through snp block reaction so that you can able to remember well in exams this is a perfect 7 day schedule and if you follow this schedule your preparation will be much better than others and you can able to achieve your target okay fine i would like to give some tips for students who have in completed their syllabus if you have more chapters in pending then follow this strategy study biology and try to complete all the chapters in biology for physics and chemistry study important chapters which is displayed and the chapters which you have already studied and solve only previous year questions this will help you to get good marks do you found this video useful comment below and thank you for watching my video till the end see you in next video